rotated. Hit your light switch. Boom. L Dunsky. Here's the, the good one. And then there's the one that's rotated. Oh, I think she has the bulbs. Yeah. She doesn't like it so bright in the morning. You know, they all work. It just came loose. See? It's supposed to be like that. We're gonna take it apart, see if something is just loose in there or if it busted and I need to figure out a way to fix it. And here it is, it's, it's a double sink, two mirrors, one light above each mirror. But that looks terrible and that's the way it's supposed to look. We're gonna rip it off the wall and see if it's a piece of junk or if it can be saved. Okay, first we wanna come over here Make sure the light switches are off. See it's on. Flick the light switch off. It's off. So I know there's no power going to that fixture. You can use a voltage tester like this, but I don't particularly like these. Some people swear by them. Or you can use a voltmeter like this one. This is the one I use to double check. I'm confident that the switch is off, so I'm not gonna use a meter, but I highly suggest that you do. So we've got my little step stool here. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the sconces, so get light bulbs out. They're a little dusty anyway, so they need cleaning. So you should have two. This one only has one. It's missing a cap. Right here, there is a screw cap. That's holding this light on. And then down here in the bottom left, you can see the bolt sticking out. Screw cap's missing. Um, that means somebody has messed with this before. So let's find out what's going on. Just take off that one screw cap on the top right. All light fixtures actually have something along these lines. There's some kind of screw holding them to the wall. Usually you can get these fingers uh, finger tight. There it is. Be careful of the wiring behind it. You don't want to rip it, cause damage. So just slowly pull the wiring out. Test it before you hang out like this. Worst case scenario is the power isn't off and I get hit with a jolt. It's not gonna happen. Second worst case is I drop the light fixture and it busts and I have to buy two new light fixtures so that sweetness doesn't get mad. I'm gonna disconnect both wires and cap the black one. Probably a good idea to cap both because you never know if people wire stuff wrong. They might have the hot coming up on the white. The hot's supposed to come up on the black and the white is your neutral. We're still hanging by the ground. Good news is they're just being held by nuts. So tighten this one up, maybe add some uh, leak lock, not leak lock, thread locker. Maybe add some thread locker, but uh, we'll get that tightened up and get the light fixture hung back up. And here we go. Not the greatest lighting in here. Doing my best for you guys, doing my best. A favor while we're talking about it, hit that like. That really helps the channel. Thanks. It's not like it was ever clean before, but it's really a mess now. So please forgive the mess if you can see it. The better light. I didn't take the sconces off. I said I was going to, and I didn't. Should have. Do that, take the light bulbs out, and go up inside here, take the lock ring off. Like so. If they're tight, you can twist the sconce to try to get them to loosen up like that, and then reach up in there and take them off. I'm taking them off because it's gonna be easier to work on this thing, and I wanna make sure I get it tight so that it doesn't happen again. It's not real fun taking light fixtures on and off, at least not for me, so I didn't 
go into the electrical field. I don't really enjoy just cramming a bunch of wires into a tiny little box and making it look good. It's frustrating to me. Um, my hat's off to those of you that do it for a living on a daily basis. And I've worked with some really great electricians that had a talent for, you know, not only electrical, but making it look good too. So I want, we want this one, that's the loose one, to match this one. So kind of eyeball it. And then, we're gonna see what size this is. Hoping I have some thread lock. If I don't, I might finish this video later because I gotta run out today. It's got a, one of these stupid star lock washers on it. I guess it didn't work very well. It's 14. Let me see if I got some thread lock. Thread lock. I got ceramic grease. I got pro dope. I got antices. I want the opposite of antices. Lock tight in the house. Threads are pretty clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it with a little bit of the Loctite. We're gonna tighten her up. Shake well before use. This is low strength, so it's not, hopefully it's gonna help, but it's not gonna like cement it on there if you ever have to do it again or move it. Uh, the thread should be clean, but go ahead and give her a wipe down. Look at that. So I don't know how tight that's supposed to be into there. It's threaded, so we're gonna lock tight this. So if you have this problem, make sure it's threaded into the other side tight enough as well. I'm gonna lock tight that side. Just put some on there and thread it down in. And I hope that works. Thread it down in, make sure you have enough left to tighten it up. That should be good. Thread locker didn't look like it was any good. Don't shake it with the lid off, because it'll fly out everywhere. Stuff's pretty old, but hopefully it does the job still. That looks better. Let me redo that thread. And I'm gonna push it through. can't see give a yell yeah just kidding so I'm gonna coat this pretty dang good because I want to make sure you don't have to put that much on there you shouldn't put that much on there I'm going to because I don't enjoy this repair that's why I put it off so long all right, this is the point you want to get it lined up pretty quickly so you can take advantage of that thread locker. Give her a good tightening. So you just kind of got to get it lined up the best you can. How's that look? It's good. Go ahead and crank her down. I'm gonna snug up the other two. Be very careful, because I don't wanna have to do it, this to those two. I'm just making sure they're snug. I'm not gonna crank on them, because 
they haven't loosened, so just making sure they're snug. This one, I want tight. I cranked on that sucker. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you might as well dust everything off because it's been up there. Nobody's dusted it. I don't dust it. She doesn't dust it. You get a cleaner every once in a while. They definitely don't dust it. Can't see the dust up there. But if you got it off on the bench, get a dust rag, might as well dust it. What do you think? The ring goes around the outside. You reach down in there and you screw it around the outside of the bulb holder. As you can see, as you can see right here, the bulb holder is threaded. And this is a, essentially it's a, a nut, ceramic coated, I guess. Not sure. So what you do is, if you see your sconce has a lip and it slides up in here when you put it on, and then this ring goes up over it to hold it. So the sconce is actually wedged between the edge of the sconce here, and then this lip goes inside that lip, and then the ring goes up inside the sconce and holds it tight to the light fixture. Still gonna put that to the back, figure out the best looking side of the sconce. Make sure they're tight. I'm gonna take this upstairs with me just in case. I'm gonna take this upstairs with me too. Let's go put it back on the wall. First, go in my, my little jump bolt. Got me some new wire nuts. Here we go. So, should have left the sconces off till I hung it, but I didn't. I'm looping the house ground around the ground screw here, and then I'll tighten it, I'll attach the ground on the actual light fixture to this tail. I don't know if you can see the tail hanging off right here. I left sticking out. If you're ever tightening up a wire around a screw, you want to wrap it around in the direction that you tighten. So over the top and to the right, because righty tighty, lefty loosey. Sure, everybody knows that, but just in case, if you wrap it the other way and you go to tighten it, you're going to be loosening the wire. Hook that ground up to help hold it like that. Again, highly recommend leaving the sconces off till you hang it. It's a lot less weight. I wanted to just show you why I had it on the bench, how to put them on so you can get a better view, and I don't feel like taking them off because I'm hard headed. So when you're wiring stranded wire too solid <sighs> you want to pull on both wires and make sure they don't pop out of the wire nut like it just happened that was a bad connection but I don't generally twist my stranded wires to make another solid wire I kind of leave them to I twist them together but not tightly so they're kind of loose and then you want to make sure that their tips are even, don't twist them together now. Let the wire nut do the job because it's gotta be able to grab both of them. The problem, if you twist it together beforehand, the wire nut, the, the threads inside the wire nut might not be able to grab them both and lock them together like it should be. Always pull on each individual wire while holding the wire nut after you're done to make sure they don't come out like I showed you earlier. 
it's hard to explain because I just do it naturally. I've been, you know, hooking stuff up for years. Get the neutral out of the way. So I just kind of hold the wires even like and together like that. And then I screw the, make sure you don't have any of those strands sticking out. Make sure they both go in the wire nut at the same time and then hold both the wires together below the wire nut and twist it, you know, pretty, pretty tight. Now look, it's, it's tight. So pull it on both wires while holding the wire nut, hold it here and then pull, hold it, pull. If it doesn't come out, it should be tight. Same with both wires. As long as your grounds are connected, it's grounded back to the panel. So now I'm going to lift the fixture up. I'm going to put it over this stud and this stud on the bottom. I only have one of these caps. You can see how small it is compared to my finger. So I need another one. I'm going to put that on the top like it had it. There's the hole that it's going to go over that stud right here. As you're lifting it up, tuck the wires behind the bracket safely so they don't rub on the metal and they're protected and out of the way. This is one of my least favorite parts. And like I said, the electrician's got a knack for this. I do not. I'm glad that's over. Anyway, you can tackle that yourself. Easy peasy. Put your light bulbs back in. The next steps to make sure they work. Hit your light switch. Boom. L. Dunsky. That's what you call done. Sun. All right, guys. See you on the next one.